Police in South Jersey believe an exotic bird could be in danger. They're looking for the two men they say stole the bird right out of its cage on Saturday. CBS 3 reporter Brandon Goldner has more from Del Ran. Typically, Saturdays are a busy time here at Todd Marcus Bird's Exotic, which Delran police say thieves took advantage of when they stole an exotic bird. Surveillance cameras inside the store capture the moment when store manager Chris Luberski says thieves pocketed this two and a half month old pineapple green cheek conure. The gentleman slid the glass open, grabbed the bird out of the cage, and then he proceeded to walk to this corner of the store and he tried to. Basically, hide himself behind this pole here. He shoved the bird into either his pocket or into a side bag that he had. He says the family already bought the bird and was coming in once a week to bond with it. They were scheduled to take it home in six weeks. They are extremely upset, rightfully so. They came in multiple times to bond with that bird. Even more upsetting, Luberski says the bird's life is in danger. <laughs> When they're young, many of these birds require specialized diets. The bird that was stolen was being hand fed with a syringe. If this bird isn't cared for properly and not hand fed, uh, it unfortunately it will pass. So it's really a time issue now to try to locate this bird. Customer Jill Hebner says she's stunned someone would steal a baby bird. That's awful. I mean, I don't really have any words for that, but I think that's awful. Luberski also feels awful because now the store is changing how customers get to socialize with these birds. We are now um, forced to put locks on cages, so it is going to be a little bit difficult now. Difficult decisions following a challenging time for the store and the family who bought the stolen bird. It's just very sad that he was taken from, you know, not only us, but the family that was looking to get him in a couple weeks. Anyone with information is asked to call Delran Police. In Delran, Brandon Goldner, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.